Well, we, we didn't. Uh, first of all, they, they got two good looks at the end, and, you know, that obviously could have gone either way. They really did, and, and they missed them, and um, it was such a hard-fought game. Um, and I thought, you know, again, uh, our guys, though not maybe perfect or pretty, that's who we are. And they, they took a step in the right direction to be as, um, as rugged as they could be on both ends of the floor. And both teams played their hearts out. I told Coach Young, I think he's a terrific coach. His teams are hard to guard. Um, and, uh, you know, they, um, Aluma, he, he's, he's a load. And we, you asked about the trap. You know, we didn't, we were kind of playing one on one and they kept going to him. And then we did run a trap at him at, at, that, at the end. And it, it worked out in our favor where we got, got the play. And then I don't know, you know, he slipped on that play at the end. But, uh, Francisco Poppy really played well. His physicality was significant, and he was, you know, on the glass. And then got to the free throw line when we needed it. And I thought Reese and Kihei, because their guards are good um, and they're quick, and um, especially the young man is a Wisconsin guy that uh, he is uh, out there. The, the Storm Murphy, he went to, um, he's from Madison, but a, a very good player. But their guards are quick and good. And Kihei and Reese had their hands full, and they worked hard against them. And then you know everybody was just. I, I think we were, again, not perfect, but uh, as, as ready as we could be to guard their stuff because it is difficult. And they play good, hard defense, you know, kind of mirrored each other. And um, it's just one of those games for sure. Mike. Tony, you went to Poppy against Carolina to try to bring some toughness, and it didn't really turn things. Did you challenge him, or what was the discussion this week? Well, I did. And I thought in the first half against North Carolina, Poppy was pretty good. Um, he was. Second half, you know, um, we, we, we didn't play well as a team. And, you know, Bay Coat got going. His was more off of some offensive rebounds and a few plays. But um, again, those are two excellent interior players, for sure. And Aluma can stretch it out and beat you off the dribble and puts a lot of pressure on your defense. So um, I thought, again, we needed Poppy. And, you know, Caden got in early foul trouble, made a couple key blocks, and gave us, um, gave us some, some lifts there as well. Tony, second chance points really hurt you in Chapel Hill. I think Carolina had 14 second chance points and 11 offensive rebounds. I don't know what the final numbers were tonight, but they they were much less. Point yeah. of emphasis this this week. A little bit. <laughs> a few things were a point of emphasis, but um, but again, Virginia Tech is so spaced, and sometimes you know they're different, but um, they they can go to the glass. But we did a better job. And, um, but their spacing puts pressure on you. And again, they were, well, they were 7 of 19 from 3. Um, and they, um, but yes, you look at fast break points and, you know, those key areas for us points off turnovers, uh, points, second chance points. And it was so much better because that one got away from us uh, in a couple of areas against North Carolina. Yeah, with Francisco, where has he grown his game the most this season, you think? He played pretty well at Clemson the other night. That's right, did, yeah. Did, did, where have you seen him grow his game? Well, he's physical. Um, you know, he really he, – I've seen him – we use the word intentional, whatever word, but he's, he's coming in, getting extra time, and he's purposeful, and um, you know, he's one of the most fun-loving young men. I was going to say kid, but young men uh, on our team. He, he really is, and, and he always – he plays hard. Um, and again, it's new to him. He has not played a lot. And so now he's getting to play more. Uh, and we need our interiors, Caden and Poppy and even Jaden, to just, and I, I know it's not um, maybe sexy or uh, appealing to say, but you've got to be great screeners for us. You've got to be great, as good of a screener, as good of a rebounder and defender. And then play off of opportunities. And as your game improves, then there'll be some opportunities for scoring things. And just challenge them to, to, to serve the team in that role. And there's nothing wrong with that. I coached Aaron Baines at Washington State. And last I checked, well, he was pretty special. Has some, some NBA Finals rings and some pretty fat contracts to boot. But that's important for those guys, to embrace that role and keep getting better. And again, that's when our team's at its best. So I, I just have seen him um, understand him more. And, he, he moves a little, he, he moves better than you think. At times he's a little unorthodox perhaps, but, but he, he can move and he, and he is strong. So that's enough on Poppy. <laughs> Tony, uh, we've talked so much about Armand on the three-point shooting, but he's finding so many other ways to contribute um, even when the three isn't going down. What have you seen from 
his yeah. offensive game away from three. No, he's been attacking the elbows, getting to the lane, getting to the basket, made two big free throws or, you know, those. And um, he's, um, yeah, no, he's moving hard. And again, uh, you can't be defined by your, your shot. He got, they were all um, good looks from three, made one, missed a couple. But, um, but I like that, how he's, I think he's, He's improving his game too. You can see it. And you say, "Well, well, let's look at his three-point percentage." Forget that. You can't. You just just play the next game, take your shots. But he's impacting the game offensively uh, well, and you know he's he's trying his guts out defensively. And that's that's what I said. You guys are gonna have to play as hard as you can, as long as you can, and as as sound as you can tonight. The way they run their stuff. And early we had some breakdowns, and then we tightened it up. And again, um, you know, I, I get they, I, they missed some shots and all that stuff. That's part of the game. But um, we played how we had to to have a chance in this one. Tony, not to beat a dead horse, but it seemed like there have been times in his time here where you guys might have thrown the ball into Poppy just to, as a courtesy without with low expectations, a lot of clumsiness and whatever, and on defense he was really prone to foul. How, how gratifying is it for you to see how far he's come at both? He made a lot of stops on Aluma tonight that Hard to we're, do. We're yeah, he, he allowed us at times. We said, you know, we're not going to go trap. At times we did. and. And Aluma made some big time plays, but um, yeah, I mean that's you know that's what you hope, and it always takes I think bigger guys a while. It takes them, it just takes them longer, and you know the balance and the feel. And he's um, as I mentioned, this is the first year he's had kind of had an injury prone time here, and this is really the first year that he's gotten somewhat consistent minutes. And you know there've been some really good moments, there've been some hard moments, but I just try to keep encouraging him to stay after it. And um, you know he, he's you can get after him, and he he'll he'll respond, and um, he's uh, like I said off the court not a better guy he's just he's awesome that way and so it's it's kind of good you got to be able to sort of live with some of the mistakes and keep growing these guys because we don't have a ton of options so this is the opportunity that these guys want it and they're getting it as challenging as it is but they're they're getting it. Yeah, Tony, could you talk about the growing leadership you're getting from Reese? 38 yeah. minutes and just yeah that's right Doug that's a good observation because I I think um, the last handful of games Reese has really taken a step in the right direction and um, I, I like what I'm seeing in that regard and again he's got to just come ready to go to practice and, and keep keep doing it but he's had some solid games I mentioned Kihei and Reese guarding those guys and and he's being a, t a bit more aggressive offensively and I think his last five games or four, five, six games, whatever, he's really trending in a, in a good direction. And I hope he'll just keep staying assertive and keep working and knowing who he is. Tony, you won a game where Jaden finished with four points and Shaden, Caden Shedrick didn't take a shot. Yep. Where do you think, would you have expected this a few months ago or a couple weeks ago? Probably not. You know, Jaden, you know, he made a great pass uh, to that, that high-low. That was beautiful. He was rushing a little bit early and, and losing the ball and had some trouble. And, you know, I think the size was a little bit of a factor. He's just got to keep adjusting and get used to it. Played hard. I thought he made some good defensive plays down the stretch and um, just grow from it and learn from it. And, um, you know, again, Caden, back to the, what I said, he's got to be as, as good as he can and continue to evolve, um, you know, improve his game from a scoring standpoint, but be great in those areas. A couple key blocks, worked hard. He was frustrated at himself, again, a young player. and. And again, you just you got to play beyond that and um, outlast your doubt, as we like to say in a game sometimes. And um, I'm glad he came back and did some positive things. Okay, time for one more. Tony, the last few games, it seems like there's been more harmony. Maybe guys seem to fit better in roles. Maybe guys are fitting better together. What, is, what do you think of this team going forward with Wake Forest coming in on Saturday? I, I don't know who won that game, but I know Wake Forest is um, OK. Um, they're. Uh, they're talented. They've, you know, revamped their roster. They play so hard. And, um, you know, again, trying to maybe simplify isn't the exact word, but, um, but be a little clearer in role definition, how we have to play, um, and, and just trying to let our guys play out of it without trying to trick it off too much. And then, again, defensively. And that, I think that's the best way. So I, I hope that's right, what you said. There's a little more chemistry or harmony. Um, and, um, and then again, get ready. Because in, in this league, it looks like, again, I have the utmost respect for Virginia Tech. I think they're one of the, the better teams in the league. And they've lost some tough ones, had a, a break, a bad break with the, the COVID. And for them to you know, play as well as they did at Duke, 
played solid here. Um, they can play, and, and um, it's just it's such a balanced league. It appears to be, and so you just uh, you get ready every game because if you're not, the game will go to who's the most ready and the soundest. I think for most of the games.